The protea is not a flower. It is a dome of fluttering white flags, tombs of African relics, and monuments of ox work on deep in blood. It is a flight of black spear flung in hostile fear, of lost possession, conquered manhood, broken pride. It is the tears of my bonded brothers and sisters falling on Pretoria's marble steps, the voiceless victim of subjugation. And so the protea can never be a flower, not while the soul of South Africa struggles to be free. Um, I'm known for, for creating stencils and I'm also known for creating pro portraits and kind of like uh, transform the, 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 the faces and figures to give or to emphasize a hidden meaning. So I usually work with, uh, I, I call them monsters, hybrids, taking one thing and combining with, with, with another to, to create a, an extended understanding of what this is speaking about to the eye of the, uh, the perceiver, the viewer. So in this exhibition, I decided that I don't want to use faces. I don't want to do, I don't want to talk about Zuma. I don't want to talk about, you know, all the, all the things that are so immediate that I want to bring to the foreground the other immediacy, the immediacy of, uh, of labor, labor force, um, land and 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 how these things that are so are so beautiful could be actually a voice of violence So the exhibition is also taking that back, taking that back that um, this land belonged to its people. They had a culture and they, they, they owned it. I mean, when you want to convey your emotions, you bring flowers. So, they could have all these layers of meaning, but the exhibition is a very ugly exhibition. But we're using flowers to emphasize this ugliness. It's not aiming to, to poke a, a, a anybody's eye, but it's to open. I mean, the, the, in the way that we understand beauty, there something, something, we're missing something there. We, we're looking at beauty through a lens of someone else.